<clears throat> Hola, mi amigos. It is I, Super Paul Game and Games, and I'm playing Expeditions Conquistador. Um, we just got done with a fight defending the settlement from <clears throat> rebels. Sorry, I was just looking at stuff a second. So now we're supposed to look through town. I don't know where the fortress is. You lead your troops down towards the market where Juan Noriega is waiting with some of his people. They look tired and beaten. The captain takes a few steps towards you as you approach. Did you hold the palace? Is the governor safe? Of course, of course he's safe. I'm fucking Carlos Dick Sucero. You can suck it. The palace is safe and the governor is live and well. You done hiding like a pussy? He nods glumly and places a heavy hand on your shoulder. Get your hands off me, dude. You didn't even buy me dinner. Then there's still hope. I'm afraid the fortress has fallen, and we're all that remains of its defenses. I don't need to ask what happened. This guy's a pussy. He couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. He'd, he'd gone for us to fight the bag for him. They came through every entry point. They didn't. Even, they even brought a siege ladders. Umberto didn't make it. Oh, I liked Umberto. Man, Umberto's dead. His friend Isabella's dead. Man, what do we do now, butt fuck? Noriega raises his swords and points towards the docks. We have pushed the remainder of Leandra's troops back to the docks. My scouts have spotted Leandra herself amongst them. We can get to her. That will be the final strike against this rebellion. If the rest of our troops don't surrender, we'll kill them too. Why don't we just kill them all? Then what are we waiting for, buttfuck? Let's do it. Take the lead, Capitan Dick Suckerel. We will follow. Look, the way I fight, dude, is... I take some cover and I use my superior reach with my firearm and I shoot the bitches. That's uh, that's real um, military lingo, sh lingo. Shoot the bitches. Um. Yeah. No, no. Can we just get on our ship and leave these assholes? <laughs> oh, I gotta click on the barricades apparently. You and Noriega march your remaining troops in battle formation down to the docks. Leandra Vizcaino and her officers have set up a small strategy post near the pier with a clothed table they must have taken from the nearby fish cellar stalls. And their troops have taken up defensive positions behind the packets and barrels of food and supplies from the ships. I'll be right back. Sorry, I had to get a drink a second. I figure a manly battle needs a manly drink. It's been a long week, so I was like, I'm gonna go get some whiskey. Leandra, come out and face me, you whorebag! I want to tell you something before we kill you. Apparently, Carl Sticksuckero was very good at diplomacy. <laughs> Leandra draws her sword and walks out between her troops. She gives you a haughty sneer. You put up a good fight at the palace. That was just a minor setback. We hold the fortress and most of the town. And here you come to throw yourselves upon our swords? Um, that's not my battle plan. I'd rather shoot you than throw myself. Noriega points the sword menacing at Leandra. I'm surprised... Noriega knows what side of a sword to point at someone. You're finished, Vizcaino. You had us all fooled, and you relied on our hospitality and our generosity to deceive us and attack us. Enough is enough. We will end you now. Damn. Your time is long past, old man. What a miserable existence you've led these past few years. A commander who was once so proud and fearless, he conquered all of Hispaniola and suppressed any hint of an uprising with swift and precise brutality. Now here you stand, hiding behind the man who came to replace you. I'm not replacing anybody. <laughs> I, I can talk about other things else. But that's the thing, is I'm yelling. I'm not replacing anybody. I have more important business than policing the shithole of an island from scum like you. <laughs> Noriega size. Oh, I didn't mean to make him feel bad, but fuck him. I decided that I had seen enough bloodshed. I never wanted to be responsible for another death again. But you made that choice clear for me. I shall have to shed more blood after all. Yours. I undress, snorts condescendingly, and turns around walking back behind her troops' position. When she's clear, she raises her hand with her back still turned towards you, and people, her people begin to open fire. Why did we wait? Why did we not shoot that bitch in the back? They didn't wait to treat us with respect. Do we have any equipment? No. With respect, when they ambushed us. At that point, we don't have to be gentlemanly to them. So I want Rita the Horse Face, uh, Assassin Rafael Lop uh, Lopez, Gabrielle Ibera, Pilar Palencia. Uh, who else do we want? We want Anna. And I think I'll bring Juan again. Scouts are nice, but I like the versatility of soldiers. La yummy. 
Hopefully we win this one. And hopefully this time I don't misjudge how my troops are. They're dead people. Okay, we got... I Idiotia. Idiota. <laughs> Valerago Arga. Is that Leandra? Alright. Primo Mata. He thinks he's so fucking awesome. Fucking asshole. Got some fucking attitude. Um. Oh, shit. Where do we... Let's just set up right here. Wait, has Noriega got men? If he is, they can go die. <laughs> I really don't care. I don't see him having any men. Alright, we'll set up, I think, right here. And we'll set up, like, three barricades right here. Maybe right here? It's not like I can hear you if you say something. Like, right there. One, two, three... They can come back around the back side. I'm less worried about that. I guess just in case, um, Raphael... Oh, shit. There's a button to undo these. I would really like to know what it is. Can we... Let me see if I can go find out. Okay, I don't know. I got tired of looking. I looked for a second and I'm like, fuck it, I don't want to fight. So, um... Let's, uh... Do we start our turn? Did I... Oh, no, no! I just... When I exited out of the window, it meant I was done? Fine. Uh, Raphael, you go up there. You use your interrupt. Gabriella, do the same. Interrupt. Where's my scout? Anna, you plug that hole. <laughs> you giant vagina. Pilar, you go up there. Interrupt. Okay, Juan, let's get you over here. I guess we'll do the same thing. I don't think you'll be able to hit anything from there. And Rita, um, we'll have you do the exact same thing. Hopefully they don't have many people with firearms. So apparently the doctor's leading the charge. I think that's a doctor. Nice. I am a little concerned. I, I wish I had... Oh, I didn't know they could run right through the marketplace. <laughs> oh. It's not exactly... Um, yeah. Yeah. Good deal. Well, we do have a few lanterns we can use yet. We might just try that. Come on, Leandra. She's got a nice shield. She's hiding back there at the top. Okay, so they have eight people. I don't like that. Let's, uh, lantern somebody. Okay, Gabriella, can you double shot this person? They're right next to you. That's good. I love that walk your shots bonus. Would have been nice if it worked there, but whatever. We're gonna have uh, Raphael do the same thing. Surprise, it's Raphael! Fuck! Fuck you, Raphael. Oh, nice. And then, Anna, hit this person as hard as you can. Nice. Um, Pilar. You go right here. Oh, let's switch to, um, take a defensive stance. I don't know, maybe that's a bad idea. I don't think so. Rita, we'll just have you do the interrupt thing. And Juan, do you have, um... Go up there and stun that bitch. Okay, I was hoping you'd have some moves after that, but... Oh well. Yeah, burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno. Stay in the fire. Oh, 
Oh, thank God. No, don't shoot twice! Yay! I think he pooped himself. Ow. No, 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 lady. Attack in the front. Attack in the front. Thank God for the shield, I guess. I'm guessing that's better than... Oh, fuck you. I guess that's better than just having a polearm defensively. Alright, so... What do we do here? I really want to get rid of someone. There's the doctor. Can you hit the doctor? Good, good, good. Raphael, can you hit the doctor? 90? Will this make it any better? 91%? Why not? Fuck you! Fuck you. No. What about you, Pilar? Oh, you could just run up and hit the doctor. But then you're kind of open to everybody hitting you. Fine, just don't, don't help me at all. Make me mad, why don't you? We're gonna have him use a tactical move. Just to get the fuck out of there. And then we're gonna try and choke this up with one of our last lanterns. Let's see, Anna? If we go up though, then we aren't gonna be able to get back. You're gonna be stuck up there. So just hold your position. <clears throat> Oh, I didn't realize there was so much space down there. I'm really good to t tactician. Please miss. Please miss, thank you. Oh man, no. At least none of them had that magic attack where they could fuck everything up. Is that Leandra? I do like the idea of their guy with a knife coming up to attack. <laughs> okay, um... One thing at a time. I would like to get rid of that doctor. Can you hit the doctor? There we go. Now, we need to get rid of somebody fast. Probably this guy would be the easiest one to get rid of. Yeah, really. Can you hit him? We'll try firing twice. Oh, good deal, deal. Hooray! What about you, Rita Martinez? Can you... That guy's pretty close. Nope. I don't know if we should have wand fire. I thought there were more people coming around the back side. I will. Whoa, no. Well, actually, that, that's okay. Uh, Ortega, go up there. We'll switch to. Oh, what am I doing? Ranged weapon? Uh, we'll just have him go on the interrupt. And then Pilar, um. Stun this guy. There, now he's stuck. And you. Stabby stabby. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping she'd hit harder. I guess we'll have to make do. Oh. At least oh. I, they lost their one doctor. I don't know if they have any others. Hopefully they don't. Oh. Where's that guy first? Is she flanking or is she just um, running away like a coward? Oh, please keep missing, Leandra. I hope they don't mind that I burned half a Santa Domingo. <laughs> it's like, I solved your rubble problem. You're going to have to build a new city probably, though. Sorry about that. All right. Um, Ortega, shoot at this bitch. Nice. Have you step back. Rita, can you shoot from there? We'll have you step up. No, but you tried. That's the important thing. 
So he's a real A for effort. Yeah! In war? You tried your best, honey. You tried to murder them. Good deal. Oh, come on! Gabrielle, I expect more out of you. Raphael, do this thing. Yeah! Spill his guts everywhere. Oh, he made, uh, Anna s stun. What a fucking asshole. That makes me angry. Man, that turn is not... Yeah, run it! Oh, damn you, Leandra. Why can't you be stupid like the rest of run into the fire? Run into the fire, stupid head. Yes. <laughs> Yay! I love this game, but the developers might want to work on that. Alright, so... Let's see, you wanted to come back here, Veteran Trapper? We got a guy there. First of all, Pilar. Finish him. Nice. Uh, one. Do I want one? No, let's have Rita do it. She's uh, hits harder. You come back and, um... Should I stun the guy? No, nah, just hit him fucking hard. Ah! Yeah, there we go. And one, can you shoot him? Or her? No, apparently not. We'll try and get Raphael to clean up your mistake. Ah! Oh man, still alive. Anna, you finish this bitch. Good deal. And you, Gabriella, 90. Use the double bonus thing. Hit him twice. Be my hero. You weren't my hero, ho bag. That was better. Oh, big better. So far, I think the MVP of my team is Lanterns. Yeah, he tried to get away and he got stabbed. I don't know why the ranged guy would come up. If he was smart, he'd stay back there. I guess because he can't hit anything with his bow back there. My JC Penny's bow just isn't that good. Yeah, Leandra. Yeah. All right, so that leaves us with a slight problem. Rita, stun her. That'll actually make things a lot easier. Good deal. So who are you? Oh, you're Juan Ortega. <laughs> He's like, I'm Juan Ortega. How can you not even know me, dude? Sorry, man. Okay, we're gonna get behind and stab him from the back. Stab her from the back. Take it in your butthole. Yeah. You like anal? You do now. Pilar, go up there and finish it. Suck it, Rebel Leader. So what we would do to Mon Mothma. Kicker. Kind of fucked up. I wasn't supposed to get that close. Kick her towards the fire. Oh, that would have been cool if we could have kicked her in the fire. Oh, this will probably kill her. Gabriella, get up there and see if you can kick her in the fire. Oh, no. Kick her. Kick her. I went too many moves. Um... We'll just pull back a little bit. I guess next time we'll finish finish them. Ah, it doesn't matter. They're on, she's already on fire, I guess. He's like, surprise, I'm still a rebel. You know what? Surprise, you're still a rebel guy? Who's doing good? Rita? Lovely Rita, meet a maid. Go up and hit that asshole. Bam! Oh. That's what you get, fuckio. <laughs> See, can you hit from that range? No. So you might as well just move up here. Is the fire all out? Yeah, so then we're gonna just... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have... Uh... Yeah, I think that guy's a ranged unit, so it'll work. Pilar, you stay here. You don't need to get killed. Juan, you go over here. Gabriella. Oh man, where can we get an angle? Here, maybe? Nope. <laughs> Time for the gangbang. The gang's all here. Suck it! 
Suck it down, cherry flavor. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but whatever. Fuck it, Rubbles, you dead. Yeah, woo. If you're watching at home, go woo. You don't have to. If you're watching at a friend's house, be like, he touched me in the genitals. The battle dies down as suddenly as it began. One moment all is mayhem, the next an eerie silence falls over the docks because we murdered everybody. Your troops are victorious. And only a few heavily wounded rebels have survived the battle. Look for Leandra, we murdered her ass. You order your troops to get your wounded to safety while Noriega's troops apprehend the surviving enemies. Looking across the bloody aftermath of the battle, you spot Leandra lying in the dust, raggedly breathing, betraying that she's still alive. You've, you've come to finish it? Um, I'm going to ask you, you deserve a better fate? Leandra speaks with great difficulty, your left hand clutching a gaping wound in her abdomen, while her right hand lies uselessly aside, at her side. I, I only wanted to rise, to make a difference, and be remembered. Um, you wanted power, but not to achieve anything, just so you could be powerful. That was your folly, butt-ass. I betrayed everyone, please forgive me. Everything I loved, gone, Esteban. Esteban? Leandra exhales, exhales deeply, a bubbling sound escaping from her throat, and she's still... Yeah, I killed that guy. I mean, Esteban. Your troops collect the valuables and equipment that, can, that they can salvage from the dead and start moving back towards the marketplace where Noriega is waiting for you. I can't believe it. We finally fucking did it. We should get our damn ship back, and we should be able to go to Mexico. Um, first, we'll talk to... Uh, uh, Noriega. You find your remaining troops in Noriega huddled together in the marketplace, struggling to open a box of wine bottles that some of Noriega's people have fetched from the cellar of Alcazar de Cologne. They all cheer as you join them. Noriega puts up his, ar his arm around your shoulder. What I would do is I would walk up to Noriega as he's drinking out of a wine bottle, and I would slap it out of his hand and be like, what do you think you're drinking for? You don't deserve to drink, you pussy. My dear friend, I cannot express how grateful I am that God brought you to this island when he did to save my pitiful ass just in the nick of time. You have saved my life and the lives of many innocent folk here in Santo Domingo. I know that in my heart. Uh, I just did what I had to do, loser. Now hopefully the governor will let me have my fucking shit back. A familiar authoritative voice rings out from the north. It is done. By my decree, your ship is free to leave. Whenever you please, Capitan Dick Sucaro. Your service to the city? Well, yeah. Well, what? The governor walks up to you and grasps your, soldier, your shoulders, not your soldiers, with both hands, kissing your cheek. Get off me, dude! I like women! Little boy blue, go blow somebody else's horn. We can never adequately repay you. I've ordered Chocobo, the treasurer, to bring all the gold, all the rations and medicine, all the military equipment that this town can spare to your carts. Mount your expedition with my most sincere blessing, me senor. I could say thank you, but I'm going to be asshole. Great, and all I had to do was win a fucking war for you. The governor doesn't look particularly put off by your sarcasm. His entire demeanor changed completely now that the threat of violent revolution is off his shoulders. He kisses you on the cheeks. Get off of me, brother! Get off of me! Thanks and congratulations. Thanks, dude! You're the best! You gave me a boner! Uh, again, and hurries off to the palace. What an ass. It won't take long for things to return more or less uh, to normal in Santa Domingo. Already the townsfolk who aren't burned to death in the fire you started are cautiously emerging from their homes. The merchants return to the market to inspect the damage to their stalls. Sorry about that. A few things will never be the same. Umberto de Rossi is dead, as are many of the town folk, and Fortaleza Ozama is sacked. But life will go on as it always does, and when you are ready, you and your troops will board the Maria Teresa and set sail towards the new world. Hey, we got a fucking shitload of medicine, and some food, some equipment. And I want to scream. I want to scream so fucking loud right now. Um, who's that? We will figure that out. Before we do anything else, let's um, upgrade some people. Um, let's see. What is your rank? We have 760 experiment experiments? Experience. Uh, your rank right now is veteran. I'm going to make him a sergeant. He gets a, We only have two sergeants and a lieutenant. Not that we have enough training yet for that. He gets a pl plus 15% to attack, a plus 15 to uh, points to defense, plus 3 leadership, 
That'd be awesome. It costs 600 points. Yeah, and he can use Smoke Bomb, which I've never used. I don't know if that's any good. I don't know if I care about that. The big thing is I want his ranged attack to go up so that he can use his double shot hopefully more often. Especially mixed with his um, walk it up thing. Sharpshooter, I don't care about that. Well, do I? Your attack range accuracy is calculated as though the target was one space closer. That actually might be good. Um, the movement's moved by one per space. I don't care about that. You're not slowed down by walking over cull trips. We definitely don't need these other fucking weapons for him. I think at one time I thought about it, but fuck it. He's just, you know, he's he's going to use a gun. See, when making a normal attack, the follower has a 5% chance of getting one extra action. Shooting at melee range guarantees a critical hit, but still provokes an... App. I don't really... If, if they're at melee range, we're fucked. Um, the uh, follower may make one extra attack of opportunity every turn. I don't care about that. Definitely not lone wolf. Because that's too far away. Harden more endurance. That's not bad, but he's not going to be on the front lines, hopefully. Fagin, fortune favored. Let's see, the crit chance is increased by half. I kind of like that. Actually, I kind of like that. Either, oh, actually, I'm going to pick aim high. The accuracy penalty on the follower's ranged attacks against targets and partial cover is halved. That's good, because sometimes we run up against people in partial cover. That'll make it easy for, easier for him to hit it. Gotta hit that bitch. Um, I don't know why I had him working on tinkering. I really don't know. Um, I guess we'll just have go with that. Let him be a tinkerer. And then equipment. Put up some more of his defense. We don't need a lot of that, actually. Um... See, where are our soldiers that are actually... Palencia? I don't know, do you want to give her more weapon skill? I don't have her fire a lot. Let's go find our scouts. Anna! Okay, you're stacked right now. You better are you stacked? I'll we'll move you up a little bit. Who else do I usually bring? I usually bring Ortega. Yeah, we'll have Ortega move his um, defense up a lot. And we'll have his offense move up too, because he's becoming one of our other frontline people. Oh, and Rita Horseface Martinez! Hell yeah! Actually, we're gonna take some of that from Ortega. I don't know, I've just somehow become a fan of Rita Horseface Martinez! <laughs> I don't know, it's like after all the crap I've given her, all of a sudden I kind of like her. Good job, horse face. I'll get you a carrot to celebrate. <laughs> oh, oh, that's why my that's why my people love me. Lots of valuables. I would like more barricades. I reckon we're gonna have to build some of that in Mexico, though. But I'll save. Oh, oh shit. Oh, you know what doesn't feel good? Whiskey going up your nose doesn't feel good. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, we're going to the new, new world. I don't know if we're going to land in the Yucatan or whatever, but Mexico ho! I want some Mexican hoes. I love lovely Latinos.